Hello, welcome to Kinderspark 2021. Today we will be talking about the concept of read for preschoolers and how you at home can promote that literacy skill for your young one. The very first thing is that if they see you reading, they're going to think that reading is pretty cool. So remember, you're their very first teacher and whatever they see you do, they will emulate. So let's have them catch you reading, all right? Second thing, the best book that you can have your child read you is one that they've picked out. So having an array of books available to them to select is a great way for them to get excited about what they want to read. Now, sometimes they'll pick a book that maybe has too many words in it or is it feels a little intimidating. And I think our first reaction sometimes is to say, no, not that one, let's pick another one. But there's always ways that you can incorporate those that particular book into a story time for your little one. You don't have to read every single word in the book. You can look at the pictures together. You can decide to read a single sentence. Let's say it's a book about dinosaurs and there's a lot of text on that page. You can just pick a little bit and read that part there and then talk about the pictures. What do you see in that picture? What do you, what colors do you see? What do you think that dinosaur is doing? You can do all kinds of things to promote reading, but the, those kiddos that are excited about those books, we really wanna make sure we encourage that. So another thing you can do in your stories is to use very dramatic voices. And I have a book here today that I'm going to read a little excerpt of. I'm not gonna read the whole story, but it's to give you an idea of how the difference between just ho-hum reading the text in a book to a child and really getting into character. And again, getting them really excited for those early literacy skills. So today, with permission from Macmillan Audio, we will be reading an excerpt an excerpt from A Book for Escargot, and it's by Dashka Sater. And like I said, we are reading this with permission from Macmillan Publishing. So first what I'm going to do is just start out with a really ho-hum hmm, reading. Bonjour, I see you're reading a book. I will try not to distract you. It can be distracting to have a very beautiful French snail staring at you while you read. Okay, so that's all right. But now I'm gonna try it again, and I'm gonna use a little bit more of a dramatic flair and make it a little bit more entertaining. Bonjour, I see you are reading a book. I will try not to distract you. I can, it can be very distracting to have a very beautiful French snail staring at you while you read. And you can turn around and stare at your kiddo there. A lot of vocabulary in this book that will make really uh, great building blocks for your kiddos vocabulary. My name is Escargot and I am on my way to check out a book at the library. It will be a French cookbook filled with delicious recipes. Escargot is going to cook something new. What would you cook? If you could cook anything, what would you get the recipe for? You should try something new as well. Have you ever kissed mwah, a snail? Now might be a good time to try it. What do you think? Would you like to kiss a snail? We'll do just a little bit more. While we are traveling to the cookbook section, we can talk. Tell me, what is your favorite book? Is it Goldie Tentacles and the Three Snails? Is it Harry Gastropotter and the Chamber of Salsa? Good night, snail. The very hungry snail. Where the wild snails are. What other books could we think of that we could put snail in the title? And this would be a really great opportunity for you to go through your collection of books at home and see what kind of silly titles you can make. So one last thing for read. When you're out and about, when you're in the grocery store or you see uh, stop signs or any other sort of traffic signs or things like that, that's a really great opportunity for you to point out that that is a word on that sign and that word has meaning. All right, so there are tons of great things that you can do with your kid to promote reading with your preschooler. 
Finally, we hope you take advantage of a free resource we have on our PPLD page. It's our KinderSpark booklet, and it is chock full of ideas for you to sing, write, read, talk, play, and count with your little one at home. Thank you so much for watching this video, and look out for our next KinderSpark video coming soon. Have a great day. Bye.